Hi guys, got a request from Molly Morris to make a rubber band powered car out of wood and use a single rubber band to power it. Well, I don't often make things out of wood simply because wood is not readily available nowadays. Uh, you tend to get things in cardboard packaging or plastic packaging so I tend to make my toys out of cardboard. But I've got some scrap plywood here that was in a kit that I bought from one of my grandsons to make. It was to make a aeroplane. So we've got some bits of plywood left there so I'm going to use them. I've also got a little bit of plywood there, a bit of scrap. Um, for the axles I'll use barbecue skewers. Now you can argue as to whether that's wood or not. And if you don't want to use barbecue skewers, you can go out and buy some wooden dowel, the same sort of size. But that's what I'm going to use. Right, I've trimmed it, so this is now going to be my chassis. That's the biggest bit I could get. Because I want to see if I can make wheels out of what's left. So that's the chassis. Um... Need to have some way of mounting the axles. So I expect I could cut some pieces out of this and drill holes in them for the axle to go on and then glue them on top or underneath. Right, I've marked up two circles there that I'll cut out for wheels. bit of scrap plywood's a bit bigger I might be able to make some slightly bigger wheels for the back it's not much bigger though okay that's some wheels cut out I think what I'll do is I'll drill the holes in them then put a nut and a bolt through to hold them tight put them on my electric drill and spin them and try and make them a bit rounder because my sawing and cutting has made them a little bit uneven and if they're uneven when you try and grip them, or when they try and grip the ground when they're under power, they're just going to bounce and spin a lot. made myself some axle mounts or whatever we want to call them. Drilled them so they're nice and loose on the barbecue skewer. So I'll now mount them on the back here and on the front. Put the axles in place. Remembering the one at the back has got to have room for the rubber band to wrap round the axle. I'm using wood glue to actually glue the wood together, which is logical, but it does mean it's going to take a while to dry, much longer than using hot glue. Yes, it says allow several hours. So, this is not going to be a very quick car to make. While I'm waiting for the glue to dry I've just made myself some small wooden spacers to keep the wheels away from the chassis. They don't need to be perfectly round, it's the width of them that's important. Test run time. All assembled. Single rubber band, piece of cotton to attach it to this little peg I've put on the back axle there. Just makes it easy to connect it up together. I have done a couple of test runs already and it does wheel spin rather badly if I wind it up too much. So I'll only wind it up well less than half just so we can see it go and then what I'm going to do is cut up some balloons and put them on the back wheels to give us a bit of extra grip.
that's gone about three meters but I'm sure we can improve that if we improve the grip there we go some strips of balloon over the back wheels to give us some rubber tires and extra grip Go the full five meters of my kitchen. This time I'll chase it. So I'll pick up the camera and off we go. There we go, full five meters. So, summary time what have we got? We've got a wooden car or a rubber band powered wooden car made from some scraps of plywood that were left over from a toy that, uh, a toy kit that I got for my grandson and we assembled on the weekend it was a jet aeroplane I've made the wheels out of offcuts of the plywood uh, back wheels were plywood, it was actually some different plywood that I had laying around the axles are actually barbecue skewers um, but I could have got some wooden dowel the right size if there was any available. Uh, the axles go through more bits of plywood that I've drilled holes in for the axle bearings. We've got a, another piece of barbecue skewer stuck to the back axle to give us something to hook the rubber band onto. Because we're only using one rubber band I've extended it with a piece of cotton and it's actually the cotton that goes around the back axle and that's it job done and we get five meters out of it but we did need to put rubber tires on to stop the wheels spinning which is always a problem when you've got small wheels